Ruggers Nation, what's good? It's Kesson Abraham here, number five, and this is the Ruggers Football Story. Each week, we're going to take you into the program and show you what it's like to be a Rutgers football player. Amazing play, and I feel really good uh, for the young guy, Abraham. Yes, sir! Let's go! A lot of enthusiasm. Yes, sir! A lot of energy. Let's go! So we got to live. Challenge is there for coaches and players, all of us together. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to be a part of it. Top always. What's good, Brooklyn? Shout out to all my peace back home. Brooklyn, talk to me. I pick Rutgers because it's home. It's 45 minutes away. My people get to come see me ball, and it's a home atmosphere. So my dream job is being a sports commentator, and being so close to New York City provides many opportunities for me to do so. Now we're gonna take you across campus with one of my teammates, Keontae Hamilton, and show you what it's like to be on campus here. He was absolutely enveloped up front by Keontae Hamilton, a freshman from District Heights, Maryland. And I'm really, really excited about Keontae Hamilton. I mean, he's a guy who can play multiple places on the defensive line, especially as a freshman. Hey, Rutgers Nation, this is Keontae Hamilton. I play nose guard for Rutgers football. I am a freshman right now. Rutgers is a great place for me. It's just a great fit. We have the family thing. We have our culture. We live by, we stand by, that it makes a good fit because everybody's together. Everybody has like this close-knit group. No matter who you're with, you can figure out friends, you can find people, everybody here is lovely and nice. Deontay Hamilton among those on the tackle for Rutgers. I am a country life person. I like to go hunting, fishing, I ride ATVs. I'm more like an adventure guy, I like to just go out, chill, but then there's other times where I'd love to go out and have fun. Bright future for the kid and really helping this Rutgers defense now. Of course, I'm on the football team, but not just a jog. I have decent grades every year. I had a 3-6 in high school, so it's just not everything on the football team is just about football. We take care of everything else, too. <laughs> Rutgers offered everything I wanted education-wise. It had the majors I wanted, which I'm majoring in psychology, but it also, it was a loyalty thing. Rutgers was the first team to look at me for wrestling or football. They were the only team that was mainly gonna allow me to do both at a school like this, at a Big Ten program, and since my Early junior year, they had an eye on me before I got really good at wrestling. So it was more of like, a, I'm gonna stay loyal to this team and this is where I wanna go. It felt like family. Wrestling took a while to get good at, but once I got good at it, stuck with it. Coming out of high school, I was I went top five in the nation. Coming out of high school football, I was decent three-star, I think. Played outside linebacker and tight end. Uh, we are going to College Ave, one of the most populated places on college campus. This is the yard. This is where everybody goes to hang out, watch football games when the team's away, good place to eat, and just kind of chill out with your friends. There's a large like television screen right over here where they play things like soccer games, the away Rutgers football games, and Super Bowl, everything else you ask for. Oh, come here. <laughs> I'm coming from class. Yeah, I just came from class. Have so. plenty. Have plenty. Gavin Wimsett is in for Rutgers on fourth down and six. The freshman from Kentucky, Wimsett throws left, it's complete! First down to the 20 yard line to Bo Melton, are you kidding me? He decided to put it on the other side, human resources, my major class. The next, I have sociology tonight, so that's gonna be interesting. Now that we're in school, you can't go here without seeing a bunch of people. It's definitely a place you can go to like, get your studies done, you can go to the library and chill. It's also a place to just meet new people, walk around the aisle, see new faces. And then it has some of the best classrooms, like one of my, my favorite class here so far is psychology. Psychology interested me my senior year of high school. I took AP Psych as a senior. I did decent in the class, but it was always something about why people did what they did and how the brain works that always like just intrigued me and I wanted to learn more about it. So if you go through psychology, you can figure out ways to make yourself learn faster by knowing the ways that the brain learns. 
So if you need to study using this habit or watch YouTube videos on the, this set of moves for wrestling or this technique for football, it just teaches you different techniques to learn and train your brain, which applies to psychology. All right, we're right in here, Scott Hall. And here we are. Just thank you for following me around for the day. Class is about to start soon, so I gotta go. I'm Keontae Hamilton, and you guys are watching Rutgers Football Story. On the banks of the Raritan, the gears of progress turn. Powered by a willingness to stand for what's right, by gaining ground in the race of our lifetime, and by ensuring every step we take includes our responsibility to the future. Wherever the human race moves forward, you can be sure there's someone there, pushing, learning, persevering, because progress isn't just made, it's earned. It's a great day for some football now. It's a great day for some football. A whole lot of juice, a whole lot of juice over here. Let's go. What's up, Brokers Nation? Kasson Abraham here. We're gonna show you some highlights from the win against Indiana. in central Indiana. Rutgers on the road this afternoon in Big Ten play, looking to even their record at five and five on the year and hoping to pick up their second Big Ten win of the season. Taking on the two and seven Indiana Hoosiers here in Bloomington at Memorial Stadium today. Scarlet Knights are in there visiting white uniforms with scarlet numbers and lettering. Scarlet helmets with the white block R on each side. On. We gotta get out of this locker room fast. We gotta take this field fast. I want the best focus you've ever had and the best toughness you've ever had, and let's chop this day. You got me, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have fun chopping this day! Let's go! Rutgers has won the toss. They have elected to defer until the second half, so it will be Guy Fava to kick off. In the pistol formation, losing the football as he tried to hand it off, and Rutgers has recovered it. It's a handoff to Checo inside the five, prints a tackle, and scores the Rutgers touchdown. Poindexter, Matt Christian is in the hole. He got a yard. The pitch is on its way. He hit on the distance, but he hooked it. Missed it wide to the left. Third and three. They're going to look to hurry it up. And they fumble the football again. Tuttle picks it back up. Rolls right, throws, and completes it. Bo Melton, Federal Texas snap, hands it off. Pacheco's got a big hold. Makes the handoff, drops the throw. Federal looking, Federal firing, and it is caught. Shameen Jones, a great catch. Pacheco the handoff, big hole left side. 20, 15, down to the 12-yard line. Pacheco direct snap, up the middle, to the goal line, touchdown! Second touchdown of the day for Isaiah Pacheco. First down pressure coming. Julius Turner straight up in his grill. Tuttle takes the snap. He dumps it out to the left for Freifogel, but he's going to get dropped. And Tuttle. And that's intercepted. Picked off by Tyree Powell. Snap. Spot kick on its way. End over end. And good. Looking towards Freifogel, and that ball inside the five-yard line is intercepted by Max Melton. And so. he is hit and buried by Toure. McCullough, he dropped the snap, and back at the 45-yard line, Rutgers recovers the football. Here is Charles Campbell from 47 yards. Snap, good, spot, good, kick on its way. It's got the distance, and it is good. So Rutgers will go into the locker room with a 17-3 lead over Indiana. The Rutgers offense will come out first to start the second half. Pitch, and a reverse back around to Melton across the 25, 30, 35, second down and long. Throws it out to the right, completes it to Johnny Langan across the 40-yard line. Corsak gets the snap, two steps forward. Angles it down the center of the field. Dropped by Freifogel. Rutgers making a scramble for the football. Mark Wierzynski says, first down, Rutgers. 
at the 11 yard line of Indiana. A stretch play, it's Aaron Young. Young to the outside, got to the five, near the corner, he gets in for the Raptors touchdown. Noah takes the snap, play action. Looking to make a big play downfield, taking a shot at Melton, and Bo holds it in! Federal rolls right, looking. Little throwback left, into the tackle, Rayquan O'Neal! Dives for the pylon! Touchdown for the big fella! To Federal, who takes the snap. Federal looking left, Federal with plenty of time. He'll pull it down, he'll run to the five. He dives for the goal line, and they'll say he's in! Noah Federal runs it in for the score with seven minutes left. It's 38 to three. Looking, throwing, end zone. What a play by Joe Lasardi. Fires over the middle. And it is caught and then recovered by Rutgers on a fumble. That is the sixth turnover of the day for Indiana. It has been a dominant scarlet afternoon here in Bloomington. 38-3, to your final score. It is the largest margin of victory in Big Ten history for the Scarlet Knights. Hey, Rutgers Nation, please don't go away. We got another one coming right after this break. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first. Competition at an all-time high, we working, let's get it. Now we're gonna give you a glimpse of what it's like to be at a Rutgers football practice. Here we got Drew Singleton, the hard-hitting, juice man, energizer bunny himself. Check him out. Yes, sir! I don't know why they following me, bro. Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Here, rap, I learned how to do it myself. Look at this spat job. Drew Singleton, Rutgers football linebacker. It's time to take you through the day of a Scarlet Night, baby. Just the life of a warrior. You know, the life of a big dog. Oh, oh that's how I run a ball, man. I bring you up and you die with the bomb with your bomb, baby. Did you do? Flying around, getting better, you know? Every day is just an opportunity to become more of a pro. That's how you gotta attack the day, man. Back when we used to play, we ain't even had no microphones. It wasn't no microphone. Now we got microphones, Wi Fi, catapults, testing your speed and all that. I tell you, boy, y'all got it good. Yes. So I gotta fly. Yeah, you're gonna fly. Oh, here we go. Got it. Got it. Catch, tip, tuck, squeeze. Woo! You saw me locked and loaded, ready to go, man. You saw how we put in that work. Appreciate y'all for viewing the practice, man. Y'all have a good one. Stay chopping, baby. Stay chopping. As you can see, we're in the weight room right now. One of my favorite places to be in the building. JB and his weight staffs brings the juice, and we bring the gains. We get bigger, faster, stronger. There's a reason why Devin, Jason, and guys like Logan Ryan are still in the league playing up to this day. 
Now we're gonna show you what it's like to be in the weight room here at Rutgers. Check it out. What are the lifts like here? Oh, lift is, lift is hard. I love going to the weight room and competing. Every lift, every run, everything we do, we bring the energy and we just push each other. Try, try. Probably the strongest I've ever been. Be at your best every day because that's what they demand, the staff. First set, let's go! BJSA! Five! JB is, a, I think, hands down, the best strength coach in the country. Culture is our number one thing. Hold yourself accountable, hold each other accountable. Even in the 6 a.m. lift, we're coming in like game day energy. We're doing a lot of Olympic lifting, and that's something I look forward to doing. I've gotten stronger, I've gotten faster, I got more explosive, and also put on more weight. I look at people every day, I'm like, damn, you got bigger, man. You, you got strong. I can see you really working. Oh! Got bigger, stronger, faster. I've learned so much more about the game inside the game of football. I'm just learning and growing every day. JB's I had a lot of guys in the league. They're still in the league. Here we go. Seeing them, how they take care of their bodies, how they become pros. It's not about getting to the league, it's like how long you gonna stay in the league, and that's what they teach you here. Go are you? All the education that he gives us while we're here lifting, that he tells us, like, you do this because of this. Diving for a pylon, touchdown! Pressure coming, stripped of the ball! Rutgers has got it! This is where we make everything that we create during the season. We make a lot of plays, we make a lot of big games on the offseason. This is where we, we bleed together, we become brothers. And he is in for the Rutgers touchdown! Pacheco direct snap to the goal line. Touchdown. Hands it off and on that cutback run. Oh Again, my lays God. out at the <laughs> and goes in for the touchdown. Stay right here, Rokers Nation. The Rokers Football Store will be right back after this break. What's up, Rutgers Nation? It's Kasson Abraham here, and now it's time for the top five plays against Indiana. Mine's had to be the pick from Max Mountain, my Strap Mob member. Him just coming down with that ball in the salon had to be the greatest play of the game. Great series. Vedral, time, runs, Vedral diving for the end zone, and Vedral is in, touchdown Rutgers. Check of the head up, big hole left side, 20, 15 down to the 12 yard line. Hands it off, Pacheco's got a big hole up the middle. It's a handoff, Pacheco inside the five, breaks a tackle, and scores the Rutgers touchdown. Pacheco direct half up the middle, touchdown. Aaron Young, Young to the outside, got to the five. He gets in for the Rutgers touchdown. Donovan McCulley in the pistol formation, losing the football. Intercepted by Max Milton. He dropped the snap. Rutgers recovered the football. Six turnovers forced today, right from the get-go. They were able to cash in on a turnover on the first play from scrimmage. Federal rolls right, looking. Little throwback left. Into the tackle, Raekwon O'Neal. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown for the big fella. Great to have the Rutgers band. Part of tailgate this morning here in Bloomington. Made the trip, and they're having a good time so far. I thought it was really cool. Our band is out here for a competition in Indianapolis. And we were able to work it out that they came up. And really, it was, you know, a couple times I looked up there. I think they probably couldn't have been further away, right? But man, that was great. And then to be able to go over and sing the alma mater with them. And our cheer squad's always with us. But 
they mean so much. And uh, I know that the, the band and the cheer squad are working to build just like we are. Right? It's hard to build a band, but over time you can do it. And same thing with a cheer squad. It's hard to get the numbers you want and to be able to do it all. So we're all building this thing together, and uh, I'm really thankful for them being here. It has been a dominant scarlet afternoon here in Bloomington. 38 to 3. They are now 5 and 5 on the year. And now with two games left, they are one win away from bowl eligibility. I really, really liked our energy today. That was something that I was very aware of, and I told them I was really going to be watching for. And I thought our, our guys stepped up in a big way. You could feel a difference all day. And I was proud of them for that. You know, we need to look real hard at what are we doing best right now? And let's let's really dive into that. We need to find consistency, and that's that's what building a program is about. But I'm excited. We're we're five and five. You know, we're four and four. We're three and three. Like it's kind of our guys are fighting, and we'll see where we you know we, we wanted to be able to write that story at the end of the year. We got a chance. So now we'll see what we'll see what we do. One play in. That's Rutgers ball, and that's intercepted. Picked off. It's intercepted by Max Milton. He dropped the snap. And Rutgers recovered the football. Rutgers football. Unbelievable. Turnover number five. That is Rutgers ball. Turnover number six. Yeah, I would say it's the biggest factor in today's game. And we work on it all the time, but we've had a drought. Over the years, we've always been able to be pretty consistent with taking the ball away. And we've had a drought like we've never had. So we get six today. But you just keep working on it every single day. Yeah, it's an important part of our preparation. I think Coach Smith made a great call and just put me in position to make the play. And I just read the quarterback and just made a play on the ball. I always take it back to our culture. Just family, trust, chop. We all, we all gel off each other. We all feed off each other's energy. I went bananas on the sideline. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. I was excited for him because I seen him do it before, so I knew what the result was going to be. Petrol's going to roll, throw back, and that's going to be caught by a lineman at the five, diving for a pylon. Big guys love to do extraordinary things. Little things like the little details that matter. And I can't do it without my guys up front. They made great blocks. <laughs> they made great blocks and, and allowed me to get in. So both times, so I couldn't do it without it. Um, they just keep doing a good job and you know, just keep believing in one another and uh, having faith. And that's what it what it takes. And you know, guys just keep picking each other up when we're down. And you know, it's a, it's a brotherhood, and so we got to build off of it every week. Just keep building off of it. So we got a huge game this week against Penn State, at Penn State, and uh, we're gonna have to do everything we can to have a chance to win. But that's. 100% of our focus is there now. Are you, are you, are you, are you? Thank you for letting me. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys November 27th, the senior day, and I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you soon.